Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the four starter champions, where I rank them personally from my experience. I'm going to make this clear that none of these are actually that bad, it's just some are better than others. Now the fourth best, I don't know how to say the worst, because like I said, all these are pretty good champions. The fourth best is Gaelic. He's from the Orc tribe, and this is quite a hard pill for me to swallow because he was my starter champion. The more I learned about the game, the more I realised that I probably shouldn't have chosen him because he doesn't give quite enough perks like some of the others do. But his kit's pretty good. I mean, cross slash, attacks one enemy two times. It's pretty decent for a star. We booked up to get more damage in there. And Hellraiser. This attacks all the enemies and has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit and places a 30% increased speed buff on this champion for two turns. So it makes it quicker, so he's been getting more of his A1 attacks in straight after using this. And thirdly, attacks an enemy four times, which isn't that great, it's not quite an AoE, however, when you're against a clan boss or in a dungeon, it's not too bad. It attacks four times at random, has a 30% chance of placing a 30% decreased defense debuff for two times, and has a 30% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns if the target has more than two debuffs. Now it's quite circumstantial this move, but it's still not too bad, and it does get the decreased defense off quite a bit if you've got your axiom. on. Moving across next, we've got Elaine of the High Elves. Now, I don't actually have her yet, which is quite annoying, but from what I see of her kit, I don't see it being too great. I'd just put her quite neck close to Gaelic. I mean, her first attack is Keen Shot and attacks one enemy and places an extra hit if this attack is critical. So once again, you've got to kit her out to make sure you attack twice in that. Then Lightning Arrow attacks one enemy and then the all enemies. Has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit and places a 30% increased critical rate buff on this champion for three turns if a target is killed. And then his third move is attacks all enemies two times for Valley of Death. See, I'd say she's slightly better than Gaelic just because she's got the two AoE attacks, so it does attack waves or in the arena, she attacks all your team twice. That's not too bad, not too bad, just a little bit better than Gaelic in my opinion. Secondly, I put Athel of Sacred Order. Now, Athel is, in my opinion, quite a bit better than the other two champions. And she's got quite a lot going for her. So at A1, it attacks one enemy three times and has a 75% chance of placing a 25% weaken debuff for two turns on the last hit. Now, that's a stronger version of weaken. And when you book her, it gives it a 100% chance of landing. Secondly, attacks all enemies and has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Pretty solid. And thirdly, places a 25% increased attack buff on this champion for two turns and places a 30% increased defense buff on this champion for two turns if this champion's current HP is less than 50%. And then this gains you an extra turn. So you can do this move and then you can attack straight after. So that's not too bad at all. I mean, they're pretty good for using weaken against the clan boss and other dungeons. It's quite resourceful and it's really good to use. And top number one is still miles above the others, and I was quite gutted I didn't start with this champion. And that is Kale. Now, Kale is so good, and people still use him a lot in end game or close to end game. He's just so good for clan boss and a lot of dungeons, just for his. He's so versatile in so many different areas of the game. And his A1 Dark Bolt. It attacks one enemy and has a 100% chance of placing a 2.5% poison when booked, debuff for two turns. Now that is the weaker version of poison, however, that's just on its normal move. There's no cooldown on this. Then it's Acid Rain. Attacks all enemies, has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit, and then fills the turn meter with the champion by 25% for each enemy killed. That's huge. That just means any time it's taken out any waves, or even in an arena if it's killing someone, it's going to get an extra turns in. Then thirdly, attacks four times at random and has a 50% when booked chance of placing a 5% poison. And when you're facing clan boss, you can potentially get four poisons off at the same time. And that is just incredible. It's great because that scales off the clan boss's max HP. It's also really good to be using in the dungeons, in the campaign, in the arena. Kale was just good for the game absolutely everywhere. And you can use them to quite near the end. For all of these champions, for early on, you just want to be kitting them out with lifesteal and then put in speed boots, um, maybe defense or HP on their chest piece, and once again on their gloves. 
if you're on the start of the game, you just want to keep them alive as much as you can. I know a lot of their attacks scale off attack, but if you're just starting out in the game, I would recommend trying to boost their HP and defense just to make them live a little bit longer. Like I said, all four champions are pretty good, and compared to a lot of other rares in the game, there are a lot of bad rares in the game. So if you haven't made a wrong choice if you picked any of them four, it's just Kale was usually a preference for a lot of people because he's really good and can go really far in the game. But thank you very much for listening, guys. I'll see you again soon. Take it easy.